A couple weeks ago, we asked a pretty obvious question on the show. How did Maxine Waters, the Democratic congressman, get so rich? Waters has held elected office for pretty much continuously 40 years. She represents one of the poorest districts in California. Yet somehow she lives in a $4.3 million mansion in one of the richest and whitest neighborhoods in L.A., which, by the way, is not even in her own district. Now, we're not alleging wrongdoing here, but really, how did that happen? The New York Times talked to Waters recently, and here's how she responded to this show in our question. Quoting now, I own several properties. The way he, me, talked about it is, what right does an African-American woman have to do well? He doesn't know anything about my investments, about the house that I've lived in for 25, 30 years. This idea of how could she afford that is racist, and I just dismiss it. In other words, we're bigots for asking the question. You surprised? I mean, what else was she going to say? By the way, it doesn't look like she's lived in that house for 25 or 30 years. Real estate records suggest she just bought it 13 years ago and has spent an awful lot since to remodel it. So again, where'd the money come from? Maybe she borrowed it from relatives. Since 2006, Waters has paid her own daughter $600,000 from campaign funds. Then there's her husband, who was once a director of One United Bank. Never heard of it? Well, in 2008, One United Bank got a $12 million taxpayer bailout after Waters encouraged the Treasury Department to take up the case. At the time, she did not disclose that her husband had worked there or that she still had stock holdings in that bank. Maybe those are the investments she mentioned. Or maybe she was referring to the more than $1 million the L.A. Times reported that her family has made by doing business with companies and people she's helped in Congress. By the way, that was almost 20 years ago. Now, some people think all this looks a little unseemly, if not criminal. One liberal group ranked Waters as among the most corrupt members of Congress. We are withholding judgment on that, despite the congresswoman's name-calling, but we really would like a real answer. We've asked Waters to appear on this show many times to explain, and we're going to keep asking.